Well, hello and welcome to the program we call Illumination, coming from Sunset Lodge number 369 in sunny Southern California, Santa Monica, California. Unlike it is in much of the U.S. Right now, much of the U.S. is underwater, but we we got sunshine and great weather here. It's great to see you again, and it's going to be an honor to be uh, to present you a half an hour. Uh, fun with our guests, but what we try to do is uh, feature members of our lodge, uh, teachers that come by, and whatever you want to find out anything about. If you want to get in touch with us, and by the way, I have an apology to make. The other day I was sitting back and I wanted to, I've, I've always watched the videos on YouTube of our of our podcast, but I've never listened to it. So I pulled up my Alexa and started listening to it. Everything was great. But I caught myself saying, look at the bottom of your screen. And, you know, there's, I don't have a screen. Hey, guy. So um, I want to apologize for everyone listening on Spotify and iTunes. I will do my best not to say that again. Even though if you're watching it on YouTube, you'll, you'll see it down there. But if you want to get in touch with us, the best way to do it is via our website. The, the URL for that is www.sunsetmasoniclodge.org. That's sunsetmasoniclodge.org. You can go on there and see our events. We're here most Tuesday nights starting at 6.30 when we start eating until 7.30 and whatever we're doing from 7.30 on. If you are a brother who's coming through, please stop by and have a bite to eat with us. And if you're just interested, if you're not a Mason, but you want to find out a little bit more about it, please feel free to come in, sit down, talk to us. We're, we're, we're more than eager to answer whatever questions you have. My guest today, there were times You know, our lodges go through ups and downs and everything. Nothing is static, per se. And as time goes on, different things change. Well, recently, we had a really good surge of energy of new people coming in and really being a part of our lodge in a very vibrant way, so to speak. (laughs) I think, and I was thinking about it, I said, you know, when did all this really start? And I thought, you know, I think it started when our guest became a member. (laughs) And I want to introduce to you, Brother John Preston. He is currently our senior warden of our lodge. And next year, going to be the big man, the worshipful master, huh? Uh, Provided I, you know, get get on track and stay focused and... uh... You know, everything works. Hey, it's great to have you here. It's great to be here, Les. Thank you so much for having me. Now, let's let's get down to the basics. Okay. What got you interested in becoming a Mason? You know, um, I it's there's been something about Masonry in in the background of my mind ever since I was very little. Um, I I I wasn't certain what it was, but. Uh, you know, the square and compass, I'd always seen that on the building. I've always loved architecture. Um, I do, uh, I've done, I've been doing woodwork. I've built sound studios. I've converted spaces. Um, and in in the application process, you know, they, uh, uh, they want to know what's your background. And of course, you know, so I asked my dad, um, you know, is anybody in, in our family? And it turns out, his dad was actually a Mason and I didn't, I didn't know my grandpa Preston that well. Um, you know, I knew him when I was very little. Um, and he was a career army guy and it turns out he actually worked on the building of the Alaskan highway. Uh, I was like, wow. I, so I never knew that about him. And my mom said, Oh, well, you know, your gramps was a Mason. My great grandpa, her grandpa, uh, and he was uh, a Mason in Hemet, California, right. which is where my mom was born. And then it occurred to me, I think I probably saw uh, when we, my dad was in the Air Force as well, so I moved around a lot. Right. Um, when we were on our way uh, going to Guam, we stopped, uh, we stayed over at my grandma and gramps place in Hemet for a few days. And, you know, we saw some of the family. And I remember he had 
a ring. And I didn't know at the time that it was a Masonic ring, but it finally clicked that, you know what, that is probably the first time I had a, a personal connection to masonry, not knowing what it was, right? Right. right. Um, that that ring, unfortunately, is it's 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 long gone. Um, but uh, when I began looking into it, you know, I was like, I need I need I need fellowship with with some men, you know, some guys. I I, I want to find some like like minded guys to connect with. Um, and you know, here's 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 going to be the humorous part. I have to laugh at it. Um, there is a lodge right across from where I live. And I was like, oh, you know, there it is. And, you know, you see the sign to, to be one, ask one. You know, it's always open. Come on in. I was like, all right. So so I went in and uh, they asked me, you know, what is what's your interest in becoming a Mason? And I said, well, uh, you know, I'm I'm an actor first and foremost, but I, I build things as well. You know, I've done, I do carpentry and, you know, I thought it'd be good to connect with like-minded guys. And uh, the gentleman at the table kind of had a little chuckle and uh, they said, you know, we're not laughing at you. Uh, you know, we want you to understand we we are builders, but we're not those kind of builders. And I said, uh, okay, well, you know, and they said, well, like myself, I'm a CPA. And I was like, OK, okay and, yeah. and he's a lawyer <laughs> and he's a dentist, you know, and he's a construction guy. Uh, and, and I was like, oh, OK. You know, so it was, you know, the the the, the philosophy of. We were we're all builders, yes. but not necessarily I'm putting a hammer in a nail or I'm actually doing masonry work, you know, actual brick and mortar, right. although you know, stories and there is the connection there. Right. So I said, Oh, okay. I get it. And, uh, uh one of the gentlemen said, um, you know, we, we love having you here, but you, you said you're, you're in entertainment, right? You know, there, there are a number of lodges here in Los Angeles, you know, we love having you here and we'd love to have you, but why don't you go explore some other lodges? And, you know, because each lodge, uh, has its own individual personality, yes. depending on who the brothers are at that lodge, right? And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so the next lodge uh, I decided to go to, um, I heard they had their stated meetings on Tuesdays, first Tuesday of the month. And I went, it was like the following week. And I went, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go check that one out. So I come to this place uh, it's called Sunset Lodge. My Three, goodness. 369. Yes. And I walk in the back door. I come down the hallway and I saw David Neal. And I was, I was uh, stymied, you know, I was like, what's going on here? And David looks at me and I, he says, he says, what are you doing here? And I said, what are you doing here? And he said, so you've known him. For oh, a while. yeah. He said, this is my lodge. And I said, well, it's my lodge too then. Wow. Um, and I, I knew David uh, from Agape. I sang in the choir with the Agape International Choir. So I had known David as a musician for years. I had no idea he was a Mason, you know, wow. so I, I had no, I, I didn't know to say, David, I'm interested in this. You know, what can you tell me? It, it just it just so happened that he was he was walking down the hallway and bam. That's awesome. In fact, I, I got to tell you, I got a David Neal story. By the way, um, David Neal right now is serving as master of our lodge yes. and doing an awesome job. Just for the, the second time? Second time. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. When I first came here. I sat down and I was real nervous because I was still into the formality of everything. Everything was. David I think Neal, everybody goes through yeah, a portion, portion of that. Of that. You know? I, I, I was sitting there. I was nervous about do, you know, doing this and that or this or that. And of all things, David Neal came and sat down by me and told me a couple of the famous David Neal jokes. And it's kind of an inside story, so to speak. But David's got his way with with uh with jokes and it just kind of loosened me up and breaking the feel ice better. yeah making yeah. me feel better yeah yeah what 
got you really into it and saying, uh, I know you decided at that point that this was going to be your lodge. Mm -hmm. As time got on, what, what was it that made you say, you know, this is something I want to do? Um, the spiritual aspect, for sure. You know, uh, deeper, uh, taking, taking a deeper inquiry. Um, and you know, I, I had been, I had been involved, uh, at Agape, which is a, it's a non-denominational spiritual center. Um, and I, I definitely, uh, learned a, a lot of, of, a lot of things. Um, but I, I just, there was, there was something that, not necessarily missing, but I, I knew there was something more right. that I wanted to, uh, to explore and, um, you know, being a, being a solo journeyer, um, uh, what's the expression? You know, if, if, if you want to go fast, go alone. Right. If you want to go far, take a group. Right. Right. So, and, and, and that, I think, I, I, I don't think it just is me. I think it may be, um, a male issue. You know, the, the masculine thing, you know, I, I got this, you know, I can, I can do this. I can yeah. take it on. And, 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 you know, part of my process has been to realize, oh, you know what? I got brothers, you know, I, I, I got, I got brothers, friends that I can talk things through with. I can get different perspective that, uh, I know will honor and, and respect, you know, wh whatever the issue is. Um, and that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, let me remind everybody, you are watching slash listening to the program Illumination from Sunset Lodge number 369 in from Santa Monica, California. And if you want to get in touch with us or come by and visit us, best thing to do is look us up on the web. Our web address is sunsetmasoniclodge.org. That sunsetmasoniclodge.org has got everything on there. We're here as... As our brother said, we're here on most Tuesday nights, and we would love to see you come by, whether you're a Mason or not. If you are a Mason, we'd love to see you. But if you're not a Mason, we'd love to see you also. Just come by. Starts about 6.30 when we have, when we have a bite to eat, and we'd love to have you part just to stop by. All right. now, And, and, and if I can jump in on, yes. on something there, too. Uh, I know when you said at the bottom of your screen. Now, don't feel so bad, because uh, I believe... Uh, and, and I don't want to put, uh, I don't want to put Michael on the spot, but I think, uh, you know, if, if you're watching on your iPhone or wherever your device is, we can put tags, you know, a little, uh, in, uh, down in the body of the, yes. so that's what it does. See, there you go. Well, <clears throat> you brought up something and it, it's not separate, but I want you to talk a little bit. You were talking about it being your spiritual journey. Mm. I want you to go back and you talk about the fellowship you have on Sundays. What led you into the spiritual life? Because that's so much of what it is to be a Mason. Mm. What started you in the spiritual life when you were growing up? Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, I, I, when I say brought up, uh, I was an Episcopalian as a little, um, and then moving, moving around in the military, uh, we went to, we were transferred to Guam. Mm. Uh, and there wasn't an Episcopal church there at the time. Right. So we stopped going to church. And uh, I said to my, my friends in college, you know, that's when I became a, a happy little pagan. Right. You know, I was on my own personal exploration. You know, oh, what is this? Um, <clears throat> I did... Um, Native American studies and culture had always been, uh, there was something innately interesting to me. I, I, I don't have any uh, First Nation personal blood connection or anything, but having moved around a lot, um, I, I just, I got it. Something about that spoke to me. It vibrated with you. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, now, two of my, my best buds, <clears throat> and we were... We were uh, roommates in college. <clears throat> Pardon me. We went cross country and one summer, and we actually went to the uh, Havasupai Indian Reservation uh, inside the Grand Canyon. 
Uh, we went to the Mescalero Apache Indian Reservation in New Mexico, and we were uh, we were actually invited to stay for a ceremonial um, by a medicine woman, Bear. Um, and Gregory, uh, he, he ended up, he, he was working on his degree in education and he was, he wasn't planning on minoring in Native American studies, but because of just his reading and, and, and what he studied, turns out he ended up getting uh, a double major and one of them was in Native American studies. Um, there's a, a longer story to that, but uh, that was just a, a touching on. So, you know, the, the Native American study, um, you know, the the connection between earth, person, spirit, um, that's that 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 just made sense to me. Right. Um, and when I was on theater tour, uh, I, I had time to read um, and I did a, I did a, a good amount of uh, reading on Celtic studies. That made sense to me too. Right. Uh, when I was in college, um, one of the humanities classes I took was uh, uh, world religions, and interestingly enough, that was taught by uh, I'll come up with her name. Uh, she was a Jewish woman, and one of the first days of class, she said, "Okay, I'm just assuming everybody here in the classroom you're either Jewish or Christian." Yes, yes. Okay, so we're not really going to spend much time on that. We're going to go into the other religions. Oh, how awesome is that? You yes. know. So and and but interestingly enough. Uh, I didn't really, I don't, I, I didn't have a deep background in, you know, Christianity or Judaism. Um, I, you know, I was familiar with them, but so uh, was just introduced to uh, Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism. Uh, you know, uh, there, there was, uh, it was just was a really eye-opening uh, experience for me. And, you know, as a personal journey, and th th that's kind of the thing, I, I, I believe you know, if, if you if you have a, a a group of five Jewish people, a group of five Christians, a group of five, you're going to you're going to have five different perspectives inside that group. Yes, right. Because yes. I, I really believe that uh, the spiritual journey, the exploration that the, the we're each on, it, it's a very individual basis. You know, it's a it's an individual thing. Um, but we have we I, I believe we are connected by the one. Yes. There you, you know. go. And and you were, to, I think that's the magic of masonry. Yes. Is that it's such an individual journey. Yes. But it's not. And bringing together, and that's what I love about Sunset Lodge so much. It's such an inclusive lodge. Yeah. We have so many t different types of people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're bond together. And brotherly love. Yes. And everything we do is based on that. Yeah. And and that's what I love. And and we're helping each other on our journeys. You mm -hmm. know, whatever we can do to support our brother, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Well, let's come up a little bit more to the present time. Okay, you're there. And um, how do you get about, go about um, joining the church you're now part of? Uh, the, the the Sunset Lodge? No, saying? the church, the Agape. Oh, Center. Agape. Ah, uh, that's a that's an, an interesting one and and has a a, a, a hard jibe or or tack <laughs> to starboard side. That's about uh, normal, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I am I'm currently going through uh, a, a life change through yes. a divorce process. Yes. Um, and I was introduced to agape through my now current ex, um, and. Uh, you know, because that was really my, that was my first, um, time getting stepping foot into an organized religion, right. uh, setting, you know, I mean, I, 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 I had been, I've been to a lot of different centers, you know, whether Presbyterian Baptist, what, you sure. know, um, and, you know, I was like, okay, I, if that's your thing, awesome, you know, rock on. If that, if that gives you strength and, and helps you, so be it. It just, it, it wasn't really my, it, it didn't vibrate so, so true for me. Right. right? So I, I first went there and I was like, okay, well, this is interesting, different. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I agree with, 
I agree with uh, some of these things I'm hearing. And uh, uh, Ricky Byers Beckwith um, was the musical director of the choir. And is that his son? What's that? Is that the minister's son? No, that that's that's his now. Uh, I, I believe they're they're split. But okay. so they were they were married. Oh, okay. Uh, Reverend, Good. that was Reverend oh, Michael's wife at the time. That. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I I can't go deep into detail. One because I don't know, and two, my uh, that's kind of been one of my things. I you know it's if, irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. You know, you guys like each other, great. You love each other, great. You're you're not with each other, great. That's right? fine. You know, however it works out. Um, so anyway. Uh, so uh, Ricky um, says, oh, I understand you're a tenor. I'd like you to come try out for the choir. And I was like, OK. So I went and tried out and boom. I, and and I, I the funny thing about that one, I initially thought this is going to be awesome because I don't read sheet music and this would be a great way for me to learn how to read music. You right. Know, singing with a choir. Yes. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, I sang, I sang in, in, uh, uh, madrigals in high school. You know, I, 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 I knew enough that, you know, I, I, I could, I could have people that could read help me. And, you know, if I could hear it, I could, I could hit it right. for the most part. Right. Um, well, the thing about the agape choir, they don't use sheet music. <laughs> It's, it's, it's hear it, feel it, be it. Yes. Right. Oh, so, yeah. you know, that, and that was a, that was, that was a, a really wonderful experience. Um, I, I ended up uh, getting to be a soloist for Ricky. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I got to, uh, I, I got to solo with the United Nations. Wow. I um, got to sing at the Jefferson Memorial. How um, awesome is that? Not, not long after 9-11. Um, so, you know, it was really, really, really good, powerful stuff. And, and of course, that's where I met David. Right. And Ray. Right. Who, uh, who was one of our guests here. Yes. Um, th that's where I first met Ray as yeah. well. Um, you know, the, 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 the music, the uplift, you know, I mean, that's, 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 um, that's something for me that, that that's, that's what the, the spiritual exploration is for me. Right. You know, um, hopefully an, an, an uplift, uh, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, just in your spiritual journey, you know, just in life, Yes. you know, trying to, trying to be, be, be a better person, be that's... a better human being, you know, uh, on the 405, Sure. You know, when, when you're in your car, it's, it's, I've, I've said to so many folks, you know, it's interesting because you've got, you've got a lot of steel in a wheel and it makes you feel I'm invincible. Yes. But it, I, I found, uh, you know, it's just speaking of music, I, I, I had to stop listening to talk radio. Oh, I used to listen oh, to talk yes. radio all oh, the time. Yes. And I realized I was like, this isn't really, it's, it's not, it's not helping me chill out. No, no, really. <laughs> right. Um, so I started listening to symphonic music. And I started going through meditations and, and, you know, it, it I, I, I find that anymore, you know, when I go out in the world, if I just think rock star parking, I'll, a lot of times I'll get some rock star parking. And if I think, uh, wide open, free and clear, that's one of my mantras before I get on the road to go on any trips, my path is wide open, free and clear. That's awesome. And that doesn't mean there's not going to be traffic. Right. In fact, it could be bumper to bumper. And, and I've expressed this one to some of my friends. It's like, it may be bumper to bumper, but that's not what I'm focusing on. I'm knowing that my path is wide open, free and clear. And a lot of times, you know, instead of going, oh, why is yes. that? Why is that? Why are you going so slow in front yes. of me or whatever? It's like that people will change lanes and, you know, you know, as as you as you see it, as you think it. So it is. That's awesome. You know? All right. Now, just a reminder, you are watching or listening to Illumination from Sunset Lodge number 369 in Santa Monica. You can reach us by, via our website, which is uh, sunsetmasoniclodge.org, sunsetmasoniclodge.org. And we're here most Tuesdays. We'd love to see you. Come on by and have a bite to eat with us. We'll get back to the lodge. And now. maybe even a cup of coffee. Oh, he, he is the man <laughs> who makes our coffee for us. So, you know, 
We we're not worthy. <laughs> Even though I'm weaning myself off, this is this is one of my this is this is I allow myself to have a cup of coffee with my brothers. There you go. All right, tell me what it's like to be the senior warden of our lodge. Ah, wow. Um, it's an honor to begin with. Yeah. Um, the the. The journey, uh, you know, just uh, the, all the officers' stations, you know, I, I got to say, I, uh, other probably than the master of the lodge, I, I have to say, I think the senior deacon is really um, just such a pivotal, pivotal sp- space and position because of the guideness of yes. it. You know, yes. and that's one of the things that, um, you know, whether you believe in in spiritual guides or your animal guides or or whatever, having a guide is is really that that's been I, that's been something I believe in. You know, having guides, and so the 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 senior deacon's position is always I I I I have such a, a high level of respect for for that position. I, I you know, love doing that. For all of them, but but that specifically, just sure. because of of so many aspects of it. Yes, the, I was going to say I don't don't want, into, don't yeah. can't can't get into too much of it. Right. Um, the 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 thing about uh, senior warden, which I've had a number of of past masters um, and current masters say to me, this is really your time to get it together and focused for the the time in the master's position, looking at, uh, you know, what, what you want your calendar to be, the things that you'd like to see, maybe things you'd like to implement. Um, that's another piece of, of, of masonry that, that I'm, I'm appreciating that, that I've gotten from the, the retreats and, and also going to Grand Lodge, learning better organizational skills. Right. Um, you know, and there's 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 one that the dividing my time is is it's it's still it's still a challenge to me. But having an awareness that there's something that I need to work on, it first and foremost is, you know, what you have to understand. Oh, I need to schedule this a little more tighter or more often. You know, getting right. consistency in. Right. Awesome. So you're going to be you're you're projected to be the master of our lodge next year. Next year, and it's going to be it's such an honor to have you as a part of that. You know, I I, I think I I look forward to that time. Well, thank you, Les. You brought a lot of great energy to our lodge, and I I can't I can't thank you enough for all you do, for all the coffee you make. <laughs> and, you know, I, I had a glass of it. Boy, it's, sure. it's just the caffeine. It's not me. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> what final words would you like to say? Um, wow. Well, first, thank you for, for being here and inviting me. Sure. Uh, and thank you all for listening, yeah. watching, if you're watching. And as Les has said, please um, feel free to come on down. Uh, have a meal with us. Have a cup of coffee. Meet 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 some brothers and uh you know let us learn a little more about you and let us talk to you if you have any questions about us all right real good john brother john thank you so much for being a part of our program it's my you pleasure. are so awesome well once again this is illumination from sunset lodge you want to come by is uh the website is uh, sunsetmasoniclodge.org sunsetmasoniclodge.org and we'd love to see you. A big, big thank you to the man in the hot seat, Brother Michael, who is the yes. producer of all of this. It puts it all together, makes it really easy for me. Until next week, we look forward to seeing you and have a great one.